Hello and welcome to Electric Pack Report. My name is Pete and this is the Raleigh Redux IE in for testing and review. This is a speedy bike. It's a speed pedelec uh, that goes up to 28 miles per hour and uh, it has the Bros mid-drive motor that powers through the gears of the bike so you can climb pretty steep hills and then uh, get up to around 28 miles per hour on uh, relatively flat land. So. Uh, this is a uh, bike that retails for $31.99, and uh, this is an overview of the Redux IE. The uh, full review with uh, a bunch of detailed pictures, specifications, uh, ride characteristics, range test results, pros, cons, and everything else is in the full review at electricbikereport.com. So with that, let's get into the details. So first of all, we'll take a look at the 6061 aluminum frame uh, that the Redux IE has, and uh, a lot of uh, hydroform aluminum tubing to uh, place, you know, the material where you need it at the high stress areas, and uh, also some uh, smoothed welds. You can see that in the main um, triangle, they've uh, taken the welds and smoothed them a little bit, and um, you know, really made them kind of uh, blend together well. Um, you can also see the head tube has an interesting design where it's. Um, you know, they put bigger material at the top and bottom, but then it kind of reduced material on the front of the head tube. Um, and uh, also, you know, one of the highlights for sure is the uh, battery integration in the down tube of the frame. This is a 36 volt, 13.8 amp hour uh, lithium battery pack, and that's almost 500 watt hours um, for the battery pack right there. And uh, you can also see the integration of the Bros mid drive motor. It's fully encased in an aluminum mount on the frame there. And then uh, you've also got the enlarged seat tube here uh, right at the motor mount connection. So, you know, some pretty cool details, um, some internal cable routing for uh, a good look, but also cable protection. Um, the, the frame has the through axle down here, and that just provides solid side-to-side um, -side stability for the wheels. And uh, same thing on the fork here on the front, um, the through axle system. It still has a quick release, um, but it just makes for a very um, solid ride side to side. You can see the internal cable routing on the fork here. Pretty cool design. And same thing on the frame. Um, a lot of internal cable routing uh, coming through the, the down tube and the top tube of the frame there. So a lot of, uh, a lot of attention to detail on the frame. So this is a look at the Bros mid-drive motor, and uh, this is a 250 watt motor that provides up to 90 newton meters of torque, and that's um, that's a lot for a, a mid-drive motor um, on the market these days. It's also um, a very quiet and smooth motor. It's probably the quietest mid-drive motor um, that I've ridden, and um, yeah, overall it uh, it packs enough punch to get you up to 28 miles per hour, but um, at the 250 watt range. You know, it does a pretty good job of giving you um, good range, and you can see the full range test results um, in the review at electricbikereport.com. So here's a look at the other side of the motor. Uh, you can see that it blends in pretty well uh, with the frame overall, and uh, has that full aluminum enclosure around the motor, and then the integration of the down tube battery and the connection to the motor mount and the seat, enlarged seat tube connection there. So. You know, overall, a pretty clean look of uh, the battery and motor there. So from the Bros motor, this 44 tooth chainring powers back to the uh, Shimano uh, Dior 10 speed drivetrain on the back. And uh, this has a, a gear range from 11 tooth to the large cog as a 32 tooth. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the battery pack. This is the charging port at the top of the pack, and it does come with a uh, magnetic cover um, to cover that when you're riding. And uh, down here is the on-off button for the, the battery. And uh, to remove the battery, um, basically just unlock it with the supplied key. It comes with two keys. Just lift up on the bottom of the pack there, pops out, and uh, that's the connection point at the top. And uh, it has a nice aluminum case, matches the bike pretty well. And this is the 36 volt, 13 point amp, 8 amp hour uh, battery pack. It's almost 500 watt hours. So to reinstall it, just connect it at the top there, and then um, slide it into place at the bottom, and then uh, take the keys with you. So here's a look at the battery and the charger. Um, here is the uh, cover for the um, charging port on the battery pack, and uh, this is the connection 
from the charger to the uh, battery pack and it's magnetic so when you put it up there it sort of uh, just attaches itself it's pretty cool and then uh, the charger is about uh, it's a little bit bigger than a laptop charger and it takes about four to five hours uh, to completely charge the battery pack from empty okay let's take a look at the handlebar area first of all you've got the raleigh lock-on grips the shimano m365 hydraulic uh, disc brake lever the control pad for the bros system the display um, on the other side you've got the other the rear um, shimano hydraulic disc brake lever Shimano Dior 10 speed shifter and then the lock on uh, grip there. Let's take a closer look at the display here. Um, up at the top, you've got your pedal assist levels, and you vary that with the up or down uh, arrows on the display or on the control pad. So let's start from the bottom. You've got cruise, which is the easiest, then you've got tour, and then you've got sport. So three levels of pedal assist there. You've got your speedometer, you've got your battery level indicator, and then you've got information down here, uh, which you cycle through with the middle button on the control pad. This is your trip distance, you've got uh, your um, trip average speed, you've got your trip time, you've got your total mileage, your, your odometer, um, your total time, and then you got your current time. So um, good information there. Also on the side here is a light button. So if you had a light system set up, which the Redux IE does come pre-wired for um, setting up a light system that would run off the uh, bike battery, um, you can do that. And then also to remove the display, um, just turn the whole system off by pushing the top button. Push down on the um, little tab there and the display pops off. This is that tab. And then uh, just below the display is a USB connection port. So if you want to charge a smartphone or tablet or other USB uh, device, you can do that. And then to reinstall it, it's just like that. So these are the Shimano M365 hydraulic disc brakes. And uh, on the front is a 180 millimeter rotor. And then uh, on the back is a 160 millimeter rotor. And uh, these brakes have nice solid stopping power. And uh, yeah, they're, they're really good for slowing down this speedy electric bike. So here's a look at the Schwalbe Big Ben tires. These are the 27 and a half by two inch wide um, tires that come on the Redux IE. They have a you know pretty slick, um, you know, good road uh, tread for efficient riding. Um, they also have some good channels for uh, channeling the water. And uh, you know, with their two inch width, you can run a little lower tire pressure for a bit of a suspension effect, take the edge off the bumps and cracks and such in the road. Um, but overall, you know, a pretty nice rolling tire. Here's a look at the wide uh, alloy platform pedals that come on the Redux. Um, it's got a, you know, nice grippy pattern and, uh, yeah, it just works well for all around shoes. Here's the Velo Raleigh saddle. Um, fairly uh, narrow performance style saddle and uh, fits the style of the bike pretty well. Um, you know, just a good, good saddle for putting in the miles. All right, so that's the overview of the Raleigh Redux IE. And uh, you can check out the full review at electricbikereport.com with the detailed pictures, specifications, uh, ride characteristics, range test results, pros, cons, and overall thoughts, all at electricbikereport.com.